Hello everyone, it's DA here with a quick info for you guys. It has been made aware that the upcoming updates and preparations for Planes of Eidolon and the Umbra release will be gearing towards optimization issues for PC players. Now this will in short help those players who play on low end PCs by increasing the performance in the storage space. This was done for consoles a few days ago and also more are coming in the future and now we can expect more of this very soon on PC. It will work to bolster performance on DirectX 9 systems and DirectX 10. For the users who use 11 and 12, that will not be a lot of change as you will see because of course most of your PCs run perfectly well. And this will also delete some of the unused and outdated files within the game system. So here's a quick thing that I believe can be done on your end to improve your gaming performance on Warframe. So the first thing is to go into your settings and click to analyze your network system. Select your PC type if you are playing on a desktop or if you are playing on a laptop. And also you can disable Gore to improve some of the graphic settings as well. Those will help in ensuring improvement of latency in matchmaking system and also like I said the gore will actually improve performance when it comes to the amount of things you see on the screen. After that is done you will go into your display settings and select resolution to something lower than the native one you have on your PC. So if your PC's maximum resolution is a 1980 by 1080 you can go for something around 1600 by 900 or 1200 by 900 or even go for something around 1280 by 720. Now also one of the things you want to do as well is drop down your refresh rate, turn off vertical synchronization which is short for vertical sync and adjust your frame rate to about 30 frames per second. This is one of those things that will match some of the things and some of the settings that some of the console players have. Now you also want to reduce your field of view which will also reduce the amount of graphics on the screen at the same time. Everything else below such as runtime tessellation, particle effects and bloom is self explanatory because all you have to do is highlight over them and you will see what they can do to improve your performance. Now this of course is one of those things that you want to do as far as improving and giving you the best performance with less sacrifice to game quality. These changes will permit your PC to use less power and resources when running Warframe and also give you a smooth transition. Now while Warframe servers and the peer-to-peer -peer system may be the worst in gaming history or the worst at the moment, also remember to update your drivers and device as well, update your PC as well. Now I don't touch on things such as working on things outside the game such as system settings mainly because of the amount of risk that goes into this because you may not know what you are doing so we are not going to be touching on that but this time is just going to be mostly on Warframe. This will ensure your PC is okay and also all these settings and all this information will ensure that you don't have to spend the extra dime if you don't have to. Thank you very much for watching I hope this video was informative enough for a lot of you guys. Feel free to share the video in case you feel like it might help others and also subscribe to the channel for more Warframe content. As always, it is DS Hining out. I'll see you all in the next one.